Nobody. No one else prints DOD targets. Just Rock Island Arsenal. On the ground floor of an historic stone shop built in the 1870s. This is the rifle target. It's a medium range rifle target, not the long range, but medium range. Two presses print. And print. And print some more. We produce a lot of targets. They started printing targets back in the 1880s. We had different weapons then, and as new weapons come online, we develop new targets to go with them. They're training aids for the troops. Thus far, they, no one's come up with a better way than a paper target, you know, punching holes in it with a, with a rifle or a pistol. Right now, they're printing 54 different types of targets here, but that could change at any time. In fact, they're capable of printing any target that'll fit on a six by six sheet of paper. As you can see, it's roughly the same size as a human. All these targets printed using just two presses. This one's from 1958. And it was built in three parts by three different vendors, and it was brought online on site. Uh, there is no other press like it in the world that I'm aware of. Built for one purpose, printing targets. And you can see the ink transfer from the well to the cylinder, and then from the cylinder to the paper. Still cranking them out. This is a section that actually parts the paper and makes it individual target. Those knives are made to, uh, specifically for this press. Their other press is newer, sort of. This is the 1964 Mealy. Instead of printing off a rubber stamp, it uses a steel plate with a raised image. These are long run plates. We'll get several million images off each one of these plates. Images that could end up anywhere across the globe, but all come hot off the press right here at the Rock Island Arsenal.